Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back, because even during these testing times, we're going to be here every day, vlogging all day, every day, whether we're inside or out. And while we're inside, we'll have that cute pup with us. Alright friends, I think I'm bailing on my Killian Jornet Run or Die book. I think because I'm ramping up my running on a regular basis, I need a new book. Thinking about The Hobbit, it's my most read book in my life. Thinking about opening up The Hobbit again. Um, Tuck Everlasting is always a classic for me. Kind of thinking maybe Bobby, Bobby Igers. But I'm also kind of thinking this Walt and the Promise of Progress City. Zero to One's a good one. Casey Neistat told me to read that. And it's a good one for all your content creators out there, anybody who's small business owners or big business owners. Going from zero to one is the hardest, whether it's selling a shirt, getting a follower, getting a client, that's the hardest. Then it's easier to go from one to two, or two to four, or four to eight, or eight to 16. Maybe I'll give Bobby's a book. Bobby's book a try and just see how I'm feeling it. So something else we decided that we're gonna do today is get our Easter decorations out. We're also gonna live stream, so I'm staying busy while Sarah edits by. Um, I'm gonna pull the, all the Easter bins out so we can pull those decorations out so we can put them out. When we're gonna live stream, we're gonna do a live stream today and tomorrow so we can have a weekend full of fun interacting with you guys and keeping you guys busy and keeping us busy and making this world feel a little, a little closer together during these times. Um, I also took a shower, got myself all put together, put, did my hair and everything to make me just feel a bit more fresh. But this bin is on the bottom, so I gotta put you guys away to get this out. Easter, my friends. Happy Easter. This was a family heirloom in an Easter basket. We got little chicks, cause why not? Making our house looking like a old grandma's house, but we love that vibe. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm only like 10 pages into that autobiography of Bob Iger, and I tell you what, I won't be surprised if that thing is done by the weekend. It is so good and so crazy, and I'm just glad we had him as the CEO in the Walt Disney Company for all the years we did. But I need to make a snack before we go live. It's noon. We said between 12:30 and 1 we'd go live, so I'm gonna make my little hummus spinach wraps for lunch. First time of the vlog for the day, but she's been active this morning. Edited the vlog. Yeah. Gotta get it set to upload. Or to post. Yeah. She's not feeling too good right now. No, we had to stop the live stream. Yeah, we live streamed for about an hour, then had to stop it because your belly was hurting all of a sudden. So she's gonna take it easy. Yeah. And I think it is. I'm gonna confirm right now, but I think the show that I started watching when we first moved here, this Danish. The Rain. Show, a series called The Rain. I forgot it existed, and I think a second season is on Netflix already, and I think they signed up for a third season that probably at this point might be out in the near future. It's kind of weird because it is about a virus taking over the world and post-apocalyptic kind of thing, um, but it's really good. So we're going to give it a whirl and see if I can find it really quick. Is it the rain? Yeah, two seasons. Yes, it's on here. Okay, so I think I'm going to start watching this, Sarah. I might take a rest after we get the vlog set. I'm going to help her get the vlog set, I think, and then we're going to be rocking and rolling. And it's already two, feeling good, it's the weekend. Someone's getting sassy with me. I asked her if she could sit up because I brought her chips and salsa because she said she was feeling hungry. And she gave me a dirty look and I was like, you can't eat salsa laying down. And what she does, she scooches over and is basically like, gives me this look that was like, just wait and see. This You're on the vlog. Midday FaceTime, no big deal. Evil on all the chips. 
Last but not least, we decided wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just to bring a roll, fry it in tempura and eat that as a snack. I think we're getting fried sushi burritos. On top of the fact that they filled it with sushi fillings. You have... I have never seen this account before, but O Town Review posted this four days ago. We've been eyeing this burrito for like a week and a half now. Is it the one on Cologne? Yeah, Sarah's gonna call and see if the tempura fried is vegan or if it's just cross contam, or maybe not at all. Okay, gonna call. Did I fall asleep on the couch while we were FaceTiming family? Yes. Do I regret it? No. Do I really want this burrito? Great news, um, the tempura batter does not have any animal products in it, so I'm like not super hungry right now. I ate a ton of chips and salsa just a little bit ago. So yeah, we definitely need something with more substance, so we're gonna order it soon, but just not this minute. All right, it's honesty hour. This whole week, this is the second full weekend we've been because I think we went out last Saturday was the last time we like actually went out before we social distanced and everything um, we've been really good about being good and proactive and mentally in a good place and having fun and everything well today was the first time we've actually like literally done almost nothing I'm not a big scroller of the internet Sarah's been asleep which she wasn't feeling good so she needed it and she's cooking a baby so she needs lots of sleep She's been asleep and still is for like three hours now. And I'm going to be honest, I've done nothing. I didn't read. I didn't go on a run. I honestly think I've just been scrolling the most nonsensical things. Not even things I'd enjoy. But I feel like that was good. That's like my inefficiency for the week. And I need to be better sometimes just like not doing anything. So I'm sure tomorrow I'll, and the rest of tonight I'll kick myself in the tail and be doing stuff. This girl's been asleep too. We went on a long walk earlier. I will say while Sarah's been asleep, we did do that. We went on a, a hot long walk and it was weird being in Winter Park and well it's good, but actually seeing society listen to like the social distance. I don't know if it's because it's the weekend and people aren't not as many workers are out, but literally some of the busiest roads we have in Winter Park, me and Eve walked past, not a single car on the road the entire time we were there. And we were out for like forty minutes. But that's why she's so exhausted. Thank you. Check it out. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. And I'm awake. Sarah's awake. There goes Peter into our little eat station. Oh, he's reading. He's reading instructions. Uh oh. Where's it going? Be right back. I gotta go around the back for the pickup orders. Okay. I think we're just gonna. I think I'm just gonna see if there's parking in back. Okay. We're on Colonial. Yeah, and I think Sarah told me she thinks Kicking Baby J's hot pot, uh, hot, rest, pot. Yeah. hot pot restaurant is in this area, which we almost went to like after we moved here with Christina and Grant, but yeah. we thought it was super far away. They actually have a couple of restaurants, I think. Oh. I got the goods. I got the goods. Now we're gonna eat in the car. Look mm. at how delicious that looks. So this is yours because it's got the white rice. Mm. Yeah. Tempura Ooh. fried. Everything they have a vegan, they even have a separate vegan fryer for everything. Wow. Tofu, all that this is heavy and it looks so good. I'm salivating, I can't wait to eat. It's each half has its own box. Yeah, let me wow. show you, but I'm eating all mine. Brown rice and all the good stuff in there. I did end up getting jalapenos in there, so it's gonna be spicy. This smells so good. It does. Does it look good on the camera? Yeah. Because it looks good in real life. It is. It is so good. I. Mine is kind of blah. Because I think I got less because I was worried about spice. And yours looks like it might be more all together, whereas mine is like very much so rice next to everything else. That I didn't. I got nori. I think that's it. I think that makes the the sushi taste. You want to split? No. Are you sure? Are you mad? No. Do you hate it? No. Are we getting this again? Yeah. It's really yummy when it's in case of sushi. 
guys. I don't know if Sushi Eat Station is anywhere else in the world besides here. But if it is, go there, get a burrito, get a tempura fried. I did not think it was going to be this good. When they answered the phone when I called, they said, Sushi Heat. Instead of sushi. And it is different colors, right? Right, there's, um, I think it's Seuss He Heat Station. Yeah. Like three different words. Seuss mm -hmm. is one, He is two, Heat Station is all one word. Oh. It's all called, it's all, it says like the sign there's like, hi ninjas, please don't enter the dojo right now. They were pretty fresh. Mm-hmm. They were pretty fresh when we had them, but I can't even imagine how extra delicious they'd be, like ultra fresh, right out of the deep fryer, sliced, in a, in a boat, in my hands, in my belly. If you come to Disney World or Universal on vacation, take a taxi, taxi. Uber, or pay an extra surplus in cash and get a minivan to drive over. That was honestly a life-changing fast food eatery that I just had. I really enjoyed it. I just think if I had a little bit more ginger, I'd have been more satisfied. So those are pretty cheap. I think they were eight. I think it's like seven fifty or eight bucks to get that without the deep fry and natural white rice. Are you so happy we're back? Yay! Separation anxiety to the max. Whoa, whoa. Go girl. Show Sarah some love. I told you we were going to be right back. She does this weird thing where like she does that to me when I come home, but it's like when we leave, she gets mad at Sarah. She only, she does that to me if I come home alone. Like when I drive you to work or but something. But when we come home together, it's like she feels betrayed by you. Yeah. But then she's pumped. She's used to me leaving and coming back because of work. <sighs> yeah. But it was so sad when we got the keys. She literally, I typically, she was looking up at her leash, looking up at her leash. And then I got a <laughs> I got a knife to give her peanut butter and she like darted towards the door. She was like, no. What is she looking at? Do you want us to stay? I'll take my shoes off. We'll go sit on the couch and be all together. We have settled on what we're watching tonight and it is self-made, inspired by the life of Madam C.J. Walker. Looks good. We're not gonna do, we're not gonna do all four episodes tonight, maybe one or two, but somebody has finally forgiven us that we left and she's very happy now. Right? You got Netflix? Go watch Madam C.J. Walker. If you don't have Netflix... Wait, I thought it was called Self Made. Self Made. The yeah. story of Madam C.J. Walker. Yeah. If you don't have Netflix, who are you? Go get Netflix and watch it and then cancel. Or... Never mind. I was going to say just use our login. <laughs> I guess a lot of people have our login. <laughs> I think that's not allowed. <laughs> I think that's not allowed too. Are we going to do one more episode? It's four episodes. They're like 45 minutes each. And the first one, the filming, the cinematography of it, the the music artsy of it, fartsy. the artsy fartsy of it, so good. And the story, ooh, riveting. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe one more. One more. I'm so full still. You can't go to bed full or else you're going to throw up in the middle of the night. Ew. One more. And then bed. All righty, the message of the day. The person I was yesterday introduced me to the person I am today, which makes me excited to be the meet the person I will become tomorrow. Anonymous. Charging tomorrow? tomorrow? Charging my headphones, going for a long run tomorrow. Possibly double digits tomorrow. <whistles> Depends on how I feel, when I wake up, how my legs feel. The temperature. The temperature. Um, I read an article that I should if I've never attempted to grow my beard up before, I should give it four to six weeks. I did the math, I'm like a week and a half in, and I'm itchy, I'm uncomfortable, and I don't know if it's growing in or not. <laughs> so, we'll see how the next four to six weeks go. I'm sure we'll still be in our apartment for the next four to six weeks. Don't say that! Don't say that! I hear someone. She says, uh, it's time to go to bed, you suckers. She's been asleep. I know. She's like, let's go to bed. On the comfy bed. Not on the tile ground. What are we going to do tomorrow? 
I don't know. We should watch some more of those episodes. Yeah, two more, so we'll finish it tomorrow. Yeah, we really like it so far. It's really I'm, good. I'm going to go on a long run. Yep. We're going to live stream. Yep. And apparently I have to Hopefully take... Hopefully I'll feel better. Apparently I have to do 40 push-ups. Yeah, we got challenged to do 40 push-ups. <laughs> Maybe you do 20, I do 20. Uh, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.